You know, as I was thinking about this series and rethinking the church and making sure that we have God's picture, Jesus' is designed for the church, I was reminded of a time that we visited my in-laws, Keith and Cheryl, uh, back when they still lived in Virginia before they had moved here. And we were there visiting for the holidays for Christmas, and Haven was probably three or four, and she looked up at the phone that they had hanging on the wall in the kitchen, and she said, what is that? <laughs> and I said, that's a phone, and she was like, no, that's not a phone. Because in her mind, a phone looks like this, right? It's a small screen that dad and mom keep in their pocket and carry everywhere that they need to go. She couldn't fathom in her head that a phone used to be something that hung on the wall in the kitchen, and you had that really long cord so that you can take it to the living room, and it always got tangled. Because in her mind, what she'd always seen had been one thing. And seeing that older phone, it seemed completely different to her. And many people who have never been to church, picture church as something that they have imagined or they have feared it might be. And then there are other people who have just always pictured that church as they have experienced it when they went to church with their grandmother, that that's the way that church always has been in the church, the way that church will always be. And whatever camp you're in, whether you're not familiar with the church or at all, or you've been around church your whole life, all of us need to return to the scripture to find the design that God had for the church. We can't base it off of our imaginations or fear, and we can't base it off what we have experienced. We need to point back to what is it that God had intended or designed for the church to be. And this is important because the blueprints for the church are not in what we've experienced. They're, they're in God's Word. The church that we are building, the design for it is found in God's Word. This is where we come not only for advice on life and how we should live and the decisions that we make, but also the way that we conduct ourselves and build this church and minister. 